Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here for tuning in. I'm Val 333 Tarot, and we're just going to jump right in here, Sagittarius, and see what's going on here with you today. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, so of course it's not going to resonate with all of you. But for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possess777, and I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Sagittarius so right away there's someone here that jumps in kind of just saying like they don't want to work they don't want to try that hard they don't want to do anything with themselves in their own life or just even show up to their job and or um, they're trying to find a way to um, somehow it's your fault I guess on their end but at, at the same time this is what they're saying at least but at the same time i feel like this is also someone that's trying to find a way like money schemes money plot scam schemes and they're trying to find a way to get more out of you so you clearly are aware of this because you show up extremely defensive and guarded and blocking yourself and protecting yourself from this person and what they're doing and that's when they decide and realize that maybe it's best they should move forward on a different journey on a different path on their own and let go and kind of go their own way but they also battle with wanting to continue to be um, toxic and disruptive in any way, shape, or form. So they're kind of at a, what's it called? They're not like a plateau, but they're they're in a in a pickle. You know, they've, they've kind of uh, stalled in a sense with whatever that may be. They're kind of fighting which path they should go versus where they want to go and letting go and, you know, that kind of thing here. I don't know if they live with you or not. They may not. They may not have, you know, they may, it doesn't have to be that. But I do see you just kind of just being here at home, you know. You're just kind of stable. You're doing your own thing at home. There's something about, you know, the location and or the home setting or what you're doing for you, though. Okay. So whatever that is, it's like because there's stability here for you, um, maybe you just got a new home and or, you know, you're moving out or moving in or there's something very stable and successful going on with that. This is where this person chooses to use the worst judgment on themselves and towards you and not really want to be smart with any kind of decisions or choices here. Um, they're, whatever it is about themselves in their own life, it's something that they, it's pretty obvious they have to let go of or change or get rid of or do whatever it is. They don't want to do it. And so because they choose to just not do anything about it, it makes them get even more unhappy, more stressed out, more miserable, depressed, and mad and sad, um, with their own life. But also for whatever reason, they're upset with you, extremely unhappy and ex upset with you. So you've been aware of this, okay? You may have already had quick communication with them. You've already, you know, spoken your piece in a sense. Or, you know, for you, you know now what to do. You're well informed of the situation that you're moving very quickly. You're making fast moves. You're thinking very quickly of what you need to do for yourself because there's so many answers, uh, questions being answered for you in a way where now you know. So something about that whatever you've you know maybe you've said something like I said or you just are so quick and understand what's going on this is where this person basically gets stalled literally or stuck they can't move they can't go anywhere they can't relocate they don't want to create plans they want to purposely be stuck and not do anything um, and have things not progress 
and you so because of this you're just kind of like well okay you know like whatever you're just kind of sitting there you know you're you are emotionally loving and or committed to you know who you're in a relationship with or friends with or you know I mean, you have your own life you're doing your own thing um you're very much committed and just content with yourself and just kind of hanging out and sitting there that you still choose to be nice and calm at the end of the day no matter what and whoever this person is So it looks like here because so you are willing to fight for yourself. You're willing to compete for you and you only. OK, and so you have a lot of plans and skills and things that you are focused on right now that you are doing. And because you are in that mindset of no one is competition, but you yourself and you're only fighting for what you deserve and desire and want in life. You choose to kind of keep things more hidden and mysterious and trust the process of the unknown. A lot is getting revealed to you in such a way that you're actually keeping it to yourself. You're not like venting about it or expressing it or saying it to anyone. Instead, you're keeping it with yourself. And based on that, you're making necessary moves that you need to make for you. Um, and so your emotions, your thoughts, your subconscious dreams, all sorts of answers are going to you through different ways, different sources, let's just say, and it's helping you to really be more hidden um, and hidden and revealed all at once. It's allowing you to know what's going on, but still keep quiet into yourself and keep your own personal life and things and plans and thoughts and whatever pretty mysterious. And so it's almost like this person knows this, so they can't figure you out. They can't understand you, right? And this is when they get manipulative. This is when they get aggressive. This is when they get toxic. This is when they choose to talk crap, maybe. There's something here that gets them so irritated. They go really cold towards you. They shut down and they think very negative. Um, they want to get manipulative, like I said, and strategic towards you just to pull something out of you because you're so hidden right now and reserved about the situation. And it looks like this person kind of thinks that maybe lust will work. Like if they just show their body, right, or do something of lust and sex, that maybe they'll get something out of you. For others of you, it's this energy, you know, where they just feel instantly insecure, but irritated and annoyed and deceptive. And they want to fight and they want to battle and they want to get more. You know what I mean? At the same time, though, they don't want to really get up and create plans for themselves or really do much or do anything besides stay the same way that leads into them being even more irritated and impatient with themselves with their own life but also with you and towards you for whatever reason and that's just how they leave it okay so you could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius or pisces cancer scorpio thank you bye